The Just Bloom collection. Let's just get the out the way. And I just fell in love with this. It's so so gorgeous. And my plan with this planner. <laughs> my plan with this planner. I'm trying to be funny, I am. Is to um use it as my new carry around planner from obviously when it starts in July sorry about the noise of that it's quite annoying doesn't it so yeah I'm going to move from a skinny classic um, happy planner to a mini one and the main reason being is that um, I found the um skinny classic was a bit long and i'm like always having trouble with the length of it so i'm gonna give this a go from july onwards and see how it goes um and it's gonna be interesting as well because it's dashboard layout um which is different layout for me so this one is from the Just Bloom collection and it's from July 2021 to June 2022. Can't believe I even said that year. Um, it's a 12 month planner. It's, it has gorgeous pink rings which match the floral on the front. And get this off and the sticky thing. So this is your gorgeous front cover. It's got foiling on it and stuff. Gorgeous, gorgeous. <laughs> and then the inside is pink and florally. Um, the back cover looks like this. And then the floral on the back I assume. Beautiful, just beautiful. Of course, it says the happy planner on the back. Okay, so let's get this bit off and we'll have a look at the inside. I am um, not sure if Planets Avenue have any of these left. They seem to be very popular. And I have noticed on... Um, some of the other Australian Happy Planner sellers that is like sold out and stuff so um yeah so you get your welcome to the Happy Planner about the dashboard layout and then you get all the um online connections for the Happy Planner and then we get our title page with some gorgeous Floral down the bottom and a place for your name. You get a overview for 2021 and 2022. Just gonna zoom in a little bit. There we go. Um, this side says personal goals. This one says financial and career goals. Then we get a super tiny <laughs> overview. I've never seen one of these super tiny and mini styled. <laughs> so cute. For the whole 
planner and then we get the July section so along the yellow side it has note to self with a blank area and then I chuck it off with some chuck, little chuck circles and then you've got a little box down here for like your special important dates and then you've got like a graph section there to put whatever you like to put um, and then this is your July divider that says um, wherever life plants you bloom with grace which is a French proverb really gorgeous then we go into our monthly, our mini monthly. <laughs> so what I will do is similar to my big monthly, um, where I have like some sort of key and then put in like the important stuff I need to know when I'm out and about on each day. And it's gonna be nice having a monthly layout for that actually. Um, Cause yeah, the format to me is um, a bit nicer. And you've got like a graph sidebar here. And then we have our mini dashboard layout. I love using the dashboard layout for my business planner. It works really well for that. Um, so in the carry around style, it's going to be interesting <laughs> to use, um, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Obviously your errands will stay as is and you need to buy. Um, probably the calls and email section as well, and bills, and a focus, then you got your dates of the week, and then like a weekly box, so I'll have to sort of think, in particular, probably about the weekly box, maybe I could use it as a, um, like next week box have to have a think of how I'm going to do it. I've got until July to think about it, so that's all right. And then, of course, I can fancy it up with stickers and stuff like that. I'm going to try out some um, Hobo Nature kits because I like using some Hobo Nature kits and just some, you know, bits and pieces sticker-wise that are washi-wise. Um, so I'll try all that out with some planner with needs and stuff. But yeah, you've got yellow for July. And then we move into August, which is pink. Same setup. So you've got this gorgeous divider with florals. And then um, same setup with your mom. And then it just goes into pink style. Then we got September, which says, I want to feel as free as the flowers. Such a gorgeous planner. I'm going to keep wanting to look at this and keep wishing that I could start it before July. <laughs> um, so this month will be like a greeny color. And then we've got yellow again. Let us live like flowers, wild and beautiful, dressed in the sun, gorgeous daisies. And then your monthly again, and then your weeklies. November has a long quote. <laughs> it says, your soul is attracted to people the same way flowers are attracted to the sun. Surround yourself only with those who want to see you grow. So, so true. And, um... That's my birthday month, actually, in November. Which is purple, no pink. That's all right, I like pink too. Then we've got December, just bloom. I really like this. And the same setup has green on that one as well. January, seek beauty in all things, which will be yellow. February, she loves the smell of warm coffees, blooms roses, and new beginnings. Like new planner beginnings <laughs> for us planners. <laughs> um, this is like the front cover, but in one of your dash 
in one of your um, dividers. Then we've got April. Be patient, be loving, kind, be kind, be gentle. In a nice blue. Then we have May, which is some gorgeous pressed flowers. And then June, which is yellow. Embrace your own pace. I was wondering where the yellow was. <laughs> Isn't that so, so gorgeous? I'm so looking forward to using this. <laughs> but I somehow have to wait till July. How am I going to do that? Um, we're all, we're already in the middle of March, so it's not that far away, to be honest, and it'll probably, like, speed, speed by, that's for sure. Okay, so next we have the Faith Guided Journal. Um, I've been wanting a Faith Guided Journal for quite a while, and the, um, I decided to go with this one. Uh, which is from the Simple Faith collection, which is the new collection. Just gonna get rid of the plastic on the side there. Oh, yeah. Just zoom it out a bit. So I've recently just got it into all my faith planning and journaling and stuff again. I had a bit of a break from it because of some things going on, but. Faith is a big part of who I am, so I wanted to get back into everything again in 2021. I actually do have a faith planner that I haven't showed anyone on the channel yet. And, um, yeah. So if you want to see that, comment below and I can show you. It's um, one of the undated ones from a past release. But this here is a guided journal and you've got a gorgeous cover which says Faith Conquers Fear and it's black and it's like a coppery um, foil. It's a bit hard to see. It's probably better. Oh, you can see me. And my phone. Um, and then inside you've got Have Faith written on the bottom of here a leaf and some stripes and a bit of a blank dip and then on the back close it this way it'd be easier I think it's just black oh, look. no it's got a bit of that peachy colour and a leaf down there on the back so yeah that is that. Then we open it up. And take a look inside. So this is a Happy Journal Faith layout. And you get your socials again. So what happens is you get a divider. So this one says Wolf in Truth. And then you get like a weekly page. So this one says week number. So if you want to date it or um, put one or something, that's up to you. It says practicing spiritual disciplines, so which are your scripture readings, prayer, worship, meditation, fellowship, serving, learning, etc. Um, journaling. <laughs> um, this week I will focus on what discipline you want to focus on. You've got your daily trackers for that. We have three weeks on there. Or uh, I would say it would be more like um, for three disciplines. That's what, because it's the week. So yeah. Um, memory verse to hide in my heart down the bottom and then your daily pages will have different things on them but I'll go through a couple so at the top of your circle what day of the week it is can't really see that <laughs> um, and you got your date 
and up the top it says scripture reading for today. Today's prayers. I'm seeing God's hand in. Today I'm finding hope in. What is a simple joy that I experienced today? And that's three blessings from today. And then on this side we've got scripture reading for the day. Today's prayers. Who can I encourage today? Um, today I'm rejoicing in this truth. Praising him for this simple gift, and I am so grateful for. And it's going to be different for the whole week, it looks like. Yeah. So, um, I need help in this area. I wanted to find an opportunity to serve. Three joys of the day. Um, I'm learning to be patient with. So, yeah different every day and then it just starts a new week it does does that and then we've got like no pages as well so you can reflect I guess or write whatever do you and then it starts a new week so there would be a few weeks in there and then you get a new divider promise God is a keeper that purple's gorgeous um yeah so you get a bunch of weeks in there and then you just get a third divider praying believing trusting the same sort of inserts and then a fourth one faithfully um, let's see if there's anything different at the back. No. So yeah, just goes through here to here for weeks. It is 80 sheets all up, so um, I have no idea how many weeks that is. But um, it would be a long, long time. <laughs> um, it is quite thick, as you can see. So yeah, um, if you would like me to go through all my faith stuff with you all, then just let me know in the comments if you want to walk through of my undated planner and stuff, I can do that. Um, yeah, but that is the guided journal from the new releases. So thank you for joining me to watch those couple of items so the next video i'll undo all the um dashboards and bookmarks and the wellness extension pack that i purchased from finance avenue as well um yeah so make sure you subscribe for those upcoming videos and happy planning everybody see you